this is johnson praise and this video is all about referencing so we are going to um go through main campus past questions that is 2024 academic writing past question but the focus is going to be on referencing we'll look at how we can extract a referencing list from extract or how we can generate a referencing list from extract and also look at how we can quote okay or or how we can what reference our um basis so that is what we are coming to do you know in academic writing referencing it seemed to be one of the most difficult aspects because it comes with so many formulas we have so many style of what referencing we which word we have some like we have mla style we have apa we have chicago style and and so on and so forth these all of them have what their style and it comes with instructions so if a lecturer asks you to reference your essay in APA style, that is American Psychological Association style or modern language style, okay? That is MLA, that is Modern Language Association. They ask you to do it our Chicago style or which of, which, which, which of this, uh, the styles that they ask you to reference, reference it or use it as a guide to reference uh, um, your essay you must what, follow a clear guideline and that is all about academic writing you can't just write essays and you just um, leave it like that without referencing it is very bad attitude and in academic writing you must develop a habit of what giving credit to people and their work and that is why we are here without wasting my time i'm coming to take you through the basics so we can delve into the questions very well the, the regular past question that's this year's questions so we are picking the reference from what this year's past questions so we solve them together should in case you get to the examination hall and you get similar question or you you they give you something like that you'll be able to what, do it yourself so that's why i'm here to what, assist you now let's start business okay so uh, referencing is given in two ways so um, in referencing, it's given in two ways. In every essay that you write or in any in any academic essay, we give referencing in two ways. So the first one, at the first stage, you give a citation at a point where you have what? You have used the writer's idea. And that is what we call what? Intercitation. So the intercitation is where you quote from what? A source or you, you you use someone's idea and try to what, acknowledge the person so sometimes when you are reading a paragraph sometimes from at the, at the beginning of every paragraph you see them uh, the writer can decide they'll be they'll be quoting so you see something like according to johnson praise 2012 then whatever that the person brought they put it there so that's what we call what, quotation or intercitation. Dr. Jachidando argues that, do you get it? Tommy Blay asserted that. Professor Jampu, okay, postulated that. So all these things that you see, they are in a form of what quotation. I quoted from um, an article, which is what, which is, which was, re be, uh, which was written by Professor Jampu, but I can't just uh, write it without crediting Professor Jampu. So I say that Professor Jampu asserted that, Professor Jampu postulated that, Pos Professor Jampu argued that, or argued that. So it all part of what the process, and we must what, actually try our possible best to work on these things and i think it is going to what help us also another thing okay so the next aspect of referencing is the one that you write um at the odd the at the second stage you write what the list of all the sources that you have used and and okay so that is what 
um, what we call what the end test citation. So you see, after writing, I, it, can, it, it could be that I quoted from different different writers, Jackie Jandor, Professor Jampo, Johnson Priest, Tommy Blee, all these people I read from their um, article or I got that information from their publications. And I decided to use this um, extract, okay, to actually make an informed argument or a very nice argument. So after you are done, after quoting them, you must give reference what list for people who are interested in getting more information to what? To search for it. If I want, if I read a book and I'm interested in the book and I want to really do enough research on it, the best thing is to what? Just go to the reference list, okay? And then check all those on the referencing list. I check the, uh, where he got, he got those information from. Do cross, I, I cross check those information and then I move forward. So that is it. But as I said, this class or this tutorial, the, the focus is what? To help you write your exams or to help you quote or actually what? Um, and be able to what? Reference your essay. In, in the exams, this is how it's going to be. They are going to give you extract. Um, I'll be releasing a video on what we call composite essay, a composite summary. Okay, so with a composite summary, um, I, I, I went through the two questions that they give to the regular student, that's main campus student. Um, so going through these questions, I realized that they didn't give them any summary question. They were only giving extract. And that extract, they are to extract, they are to write sentences essay or to quote from multiple sources, use information from it to write essay. And also at the same time, write what? Composite summary. So my next video is going to be on composite summary followed by what? Um, errors. So these are the three, the, 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 the next videos I'll be releasing. So watch out for these videos. I'm going to release these videos. You need to, the, the exams is going to be in, um, they, are, they are going to give you four, uh, I think four sessions, right? The first aspect is going to be errors. They'll give you 10 error, uh, questions on errors. And then you go through, pay attention to it, read well, and make sure you identify all the mistakes and, and then correct them another aspect is going to be on what summary so they'll give you a question on that in the summary you are to what summarize everything and also this the the third aspect is going to be on sentences essay sentences essay you are going to write what from the information they have given to you and the last aspect is referencing so if you have something to do learn these three things and master them well that's why i've released a video on summary video on sentences essay now I'm releasing video on referencing, so I'm left with what um, errors and then composite summary. Okay, errors and then composite summary, and all those ones are what centered on your past questions. Okay, I'm taking you through the past questions so you you you, you understand the concept better, and if you get a question of that sort, you you manage to what or you you see how best you can handle them. Now, fast forward. Let's see how we can. We can now quote, okay, how we can quote. When you are writing in your, in your sentences essay, you are supposed to what? Cite from the information, the extract that they've given to you. And in doing so, you must quote. If it is Yaa Mansa and she wrote the book in or she wrote that uh, a book or whatever, that article in 2013, you say Yaa Mansa 2013 said that um, Ghana loses... 3 billion to corruption each and every year. Do you get it? There's a way you write it. So you must quote it before you even reference it. Reference, reference it, okay? So I'm now coming to take you through the quotation before we what we proceed with the referencing. And the referencing, the, uh, I have extracted the information from the past question, regular past question, that we all solve it together. Okay, so let's go. With, the, with quotation, okay? When you talk about quotation, we have we we have it like I said. We have so many style of what uh, referencing or quoting, and we have what APE and MLA. But the most common one 
once our the APA and the MLA with the APA, it is more related to the social sciences. Okay, the social sciences. If if it is about the social sciences, a topic is related to that. The best uh, format to use is what APA. That is Amer uh, America Psychological Association style. That is what APA. And now let's look at let's look at how you can you can actually what quote using the a um, APA style. So in using the APS APS style, the first we have what the first we have for short quotations. If the words are fewer than 40 words, this is how you do. You enclose the quotation the, the quoted text in double quotation marks. Okay. If it is less than 40, you enclose the quoted text in what double quotation. And also you include the author's name, publication year and page number within what with uh within parentheses okay after the quote and lastly you use appropriate punctuation to integrate the quotation into your sentence so this is what you use so now with all the things i've i've explained to you you need to what we need to practicalize it if i say you have to enclose your quoted text in a double quotation marks how do we do it so let me let me go through. This is what from the, the exams, the regular exams. All the examples I'm giving to you are from the exams. So if you have the question, you can. That is, um, this is, I think, main campus uh, batch two, batch two question that we are using. We have batch, batch three. So I have the questions I have are batch three and batch two. So I've combined the two of them. Yeah. So what we are using now is batch two. So um, it's all about um, nazism. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Um, it 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 state it state that I said like always you have to what find a way to so according to Linfield and what Akowit. Okay, according to Linfield and what Akowit, two thousand and thirteen. So you see the writers. Okay, they are two. So we have to what bring their name and also what quote the year in what um brackets right okay so and then after that you come with comma and then the the test that you quoted should be in what uh quotation mark okay it should be in what quotation mark so so that is how it is that is how it, so according to uh Lenfield and what accurate 2013 comma Okay, the 2013, the year, like I said, so enclose, enclose the quoted text in double quotation marks. Okay, so the quoted text that you are using, enclose it in what? Enclose it in what? A double quotation mark. So you have to use a double quotation mark. If you are using the uh, APA style of what? Referencing, it should be in what? Double quotation mark. And also you have to include the author's last name. So that's why they are two, and you look at the name. We 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 could um. Let's take. I'm giving an example. Okay, I can't go back to the the extract to to give you the right name. But let's take like the the person's name is what, um, Michael Limford, and we have Emmanuel Ackworth. So this is what we are we are to do. They are two people. We have two authors together. So we have to say that we have to use what their last name. Which is what? Lenfit and Aquot, 2013. So, and then after that, after that, the publication year, so you bring the, uh, and then the page numbers, okay, within parentheses after the quote. So, the, 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 the publication year, and then the, the page numbers, okay, of either the page number or page numbers, should be within what parenthesis after the quote. So that is how what I have been able to uh, do it. So you could see it clearly. It is what clear, clear here. And then um, there's also another way to go about it. If it is the words you are quoting are more than 40 words, uh, if they are more than 40 words, this is how you do. So place the place the quote in a separate block intent from what the the left margin and also do not use do not use what 
quotation marks and also include the author's last name, publication year, and page numbers within parentheses after, after the code. So the difference here is that here you are not to use what quotation mark. Let's look at the example. Okay, Linfield, uh, Lilinfield, okay, Lilinfield and Aquawoods, 2013, discuss the perception of what? Narcissism. Okay, Narcissism has a long has long gotten bad rap okay has long gotten a bad rap it's it's on uns, unseemingly reputation it's on seemingly reputation dates back to the least to 19 uh sorry let me let me take it again let me take the whole thing again so lyrian fit and aquas 2013 okay 2013 discuss the perception of what narcissism so narcissism has what narcissism has gotten a bad rap it's on seemingly reputation days back at least to ancient greek mythology right so um you you see we couldn't what we brought ellipsis okay this means that some of the words continue so we can't really write everything here so we brought what ellipsis to what to indicate that some words continue on. So that is how it should what be. This is how it should be. So if you are quoting, at least you know how to quote. Even if you don't know how to even, if you are not even going to even use some of these, let the lecturers know that you know what you are doing. So the first thing, the person's last name. If the person has more than three names or whatever, a person has to use the pers person's last name, okay? And then... It comes what follows by what the date. So the date you 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 bring the date and then the person's um um the quote the quoted words okay okay or the quotation the quotation should be what, the quoted text should be with what in a double word quotation mark. So that is it. At least you know how you can quote right. You can't tell me that after this you 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 will find it difficult to quote. I've given you examples. Example one, if if not anything, let's take it like even sometimes the lecturers can even be flexible on you. So let's take it like even if you the second one is difficult, cry. I at, at least okay, Akosia yeah yeah okay. I'm mentioning your name because I'm having a class with you, okay. Amma AC, okay. You the person listening to me. This is what I'm trying to let you know. Make sure that, make sure that the persons if you are quoting. If you are quoting, make sure that I'm put I'm, I'm taking it again. Okay. You make sure that you enclose the quoted test in double quotation mark. So the words that you've copied from the test, that uh, or you've copied from that extra that they will give to you. If it is uh, about what uh, uh, the independence of Ghana, okay. Let's take like the example says that Ghana gained independence in 1957. That is the word you want to incorporate in your essay. So it must what? Be quoted by use of double quotation mark. Right? You know, this is the first step. The second te te uh, step is that what? Include the author's last name. So before you begin, it is this was written by Nana Kufuado. So Nana Kufuado wrote this. So, so Nana Kufuado. So we will use what? Ado. And then the year he wrote it in 2024. So, Ado, the 2024 must be in what? A bracket, right? Like the way we have done it here, okay? Nana Kufuado. So, so, include the author's last name, the publication year, and page numbers within parentheses after the quote. So, this is how hot you should do it. So, this is how you should what? You should do so like I said, you must what, make sure that you 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 go by this way. And if you go by, by it, I think it is really going to what, help you. So you begin by saying that according to Lerian Fade and what Aquos 2013 should be what the year should be in what parenthesis. Okay, comma. Then you come with what you quote the person's exact word that what you use. Okay, that Ghana gained independence in 1957. So you should what? But you should use a double quotation mark 
and then but if you use that if 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 you like you can leave it okay you can leave the page number and go go ahead for time sake but if you want the page number you should also what, include that one or put it in parentheses right and then you are good to go so now we know how to quote a test Let, let's look at let's look at the mla style okay with the mla style to i think with the mla style so we are using only the okay let's let me let me take you through the mla style the one that you wanted and you use it right so with the mla style that is modern language association okay this is how we do it so the first one if it has four lines okay the short quotations if it if you are, the words that you are going to use are four lines the first thing you should do what enclose the quoted text in double quotation marks so that one to the, the that one should do is the same thing as what the ap with the mla the the quoted text should what should be in what double quotation mark and also include the author's last name and the page numbers okay the page numbers within what parentheses after the quote so here too you are to include what the author's last name and then the page numbers you see the difference between the apa and the mla here in quoting is that the in the apa you are to use what the author's last name and the year but here you are not to use the year but you are to what use the page number or the page numbers okay within parentheses in the quote and also use appropriate punctuation to integrate what the quoted uh the quoted into what to integrate the quote into your test right so this is how we go about it so according to learning fit and aquals right this is so comma okay so after the writer you bring comma then you begin by saying that uh narcissism has long gotten a bad rap okay so you quote it in what double quotation and also you bring what the page number okay in what parenthesis parenthesis so you are good to go you are now you, you now know how to quote so please drop in the comment section the comment section um i'm giving you an example i'm giving you an example um africa africa is one of the africa is one of the best continent in the world okay so quote this one it's a, so the person that said this okay i said this johnson praise i said this right and the year the year is 2020 2024 okay and then use a the page number so with this one let me, which one which one should i even use okay so the page number should be um page four okay so quote this one for me under the comment section and let me see if you really understand it try to practicalize it or practice it and if you meet it in exam hall or wherever you find yourself you find it easy to do that now let's let's look at in the long one the, uh, in the long quotations which has more than four lines this is how you go about it place the quote place the quote in a separate block okay indented which is going to be 0 0.5 inches uh, from what the left margin and do not use quotation mark here too you know use what quotation mark and you have to include the author's last name page numbers within parentheses and after and after the quote outside the final punctuation so this is how it's going to be so um um lyrian field Okay, Lillian Field and Aquos discuss the perception of narcissism. So, what? And then after that, with what? After that, what? We come with what? So, narcissism has a, a long. Ha, narcissism has gotten a bad rap. Okay, it's unseemly reput. It's unseemly reputation dates back at least to the ancient Greek mythology. So. We bring what ellipsis and then the year so uh, sorry the page number that is how it is so here in using the ape so in using the mla the year is not needed you don't need to equal the year but with the m uh, with the apa the year is needed so you could see that mostly people use the apa that's the most common one johnson praise 2014 okay johnson praise Okay, you, you go by this praise 2014. Ama this 
that is how you go about it so that is how you do this and then let's now let's now uh for continue with what so let's look at the differences the differences between ap okay with this one i don't think it's even needed now I've, i'll be able to give you some some details okay how how you'll be able to to do it so it is we, the focus is on the past question now let's now move to i'll i'll drop this slice in the uh your platform okay i'll drop it in your platform so you can go through it now let's look at how we can reference you know in referencing i've given you two things the inter citation we are done with inter citation we are now coming to look at what the end test which is what end test referencing so this is what we are coming to do so reference references and quotation refers to appropriate recordings and particular uh, so sorry references and quotation refers to the appropriate recordings of the particulars and words of other write, write, writers whose work have used wh whose work have what used in your your work so it refers to where you what you recall the particulars of someone that you have used his idea in your test in your essay in your writings so this is where you try to what, incorporate it you try to what to 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 add it to your your essay Re give the give the credit to the person so that is what we, that is one thing we should understand so here um whether you read whether you read or heard the idea you must what record both of the idea and the particulars of the individual or group whose idea it was so you must what you must use it and use the original idea how you heard it if you heard that the government says that um they are going to give monthly allowance to each and every Ghanaian, say that okay either or you you put it in you paraphrase it or you summarize it but make sure that you what you quote it from where you heard it right and also sometimes you record word for word you record what word for word what the original writer has said or or written or written right so you record you, you record what word for word whatever the person has said or written or you what you quote directly from what the quotation okay you use quotation or you use what a quotation which is what either direct quotation right so that is it like i said you must what is either what you record you record word for word right or that is what we call what direct quotation or you summarize or paraphrase the original idea now let's now look at it so before you begin with your referencing these are some of the tips you, you need to know so after here we are moving straight to um the past question to now learn how we can now solve some of these things and reference them appropriately so you must begin begin writing the list on a fresh page after the essay so referencing shouldn't be be part of what the ideas your 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 essay like it shouldn't be uh it shouldn't be at the same page right you must what ref the reference should be on a fresh page okay and also um list title the list appropriately depending on the style and then the style you so if you use ML, mla or apa style uh, what you make sure what you 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 what you title it appropriately and also use use the title reference right so use the title reference and also arrange the list in alphabetical order so whatever that you use it could be that in extract one you spoke about Littlefield okay and then extract two it also sp spoke about um, Johnson okay so johnson so the two of them if you have to use you could see that in S uh, johnson is in extract two and little field is what in extract what one but you you have to what use what johnson first johnson should come first because what the name j comes before what l 
Do you get it? So I advise that if you want to arrange it, but you know, in exams, you, you, you don't have enough time. You, they only give you two hours to write. So I think you can just do it how you want to do it. But if you have enough time, make sure you do and do it well. But mostly in academic cases, those of you doing political science, sociology, uh, sociology and, and, and some courses that requires a lot of writing, you must pay attention to these things. And also, also for um if there are two or more authors maintain the same order of what name so if there are two or more authors maintain the same orders of what name and for an uh, anonymous publications use the name of the institution or agency so if whatever that you are using if it is an uh, anonymous publication use the what the name of the institution or agency if let's take like um you read something from top start digital marketing platform okay where maybe you read you read something about our marketing strategy how we use uh, technological tools and then uh, strategies to promote businesses that is what you read about top start digital and you what you want to use these things you want to incorporate it in your essay okay but the person that actually wrote it you didn't really notice as to whether it was being published by the marketing department the communication team or whichever department that did that you you, you didn't what you didn't the person's name is not there it's anonymous what so use what the name of the institution so use what touch strat digital marketing at the end of the day you are good word go and also you must also um, also, the the publish, the publish article, okay, that publish, that publish the article or book, okay, right, okay. So this is all part of the anonymous one. So which is, I I made a mistake. So it shouldn't be a, a fresh what, um line. But also the last one is that use hanging indent, okay. Begin the first line from what margin, but indent all the subsequent one so that is what you need to know these are some guide you need to, you need to know about referencing now let's now delve more into the apa style apa is the most common one and i advise that you learn and master the apa well even if we are not able to do the mla at least you know that you have some more idea about the apa so i'm going to center on the apa style more if there's time i'll do the the MLA, even though it is part of the, the whole thing process, but you don't have time on your side, so I want to really take you on one so I don't complicate things for you, right? Now, let's move forward. Um, so in using in using APA referencing style, or uh, so okay, you know, and with the APA style, we have some for book, we have a, a referencing style for. For, uh, or we have a style of referencing for for books, public uh, uh, journals, and whatever. So you know, there's what a, a style that we, we 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 or there's a format that you need to follow when what referencing a book. There's a format you need to follow when referencing journal publications. There's a style you need to follow when. Um, um, I mean, it, it, there are so many ways. So what we are coming to do, most often they pick the information from online. Okay, so it's a general article. So what we are coming to do is all about general article. But if it is also, ref uh, if it is about book or whatever, uh, the style, there could be some little changes, but they are almost similar, but just like there's some little changes, or some little things you need to work. Uh, so if you get if you have enough time you cannot do that but at the moment whatever they are going to give to you is going to be on what general article right it's going to be general article because a lot of people come in with ideas and stuff so they pick it from what online randomly and they are giving it to you to do so now this is what you do so if they give you anytime you get questions like this make sure that first you um the author's name okay the authors so let's all authors now we are done with what quotation now we are done so the people that you use as when you use um you quoted from three different sources okay there are three people now that you are coming to give your reference in each and every one you must you must reference each and every word 
uh, each and every um, information that what you use from their article or their publication, you must reference it. So first, one thing you need to know is these are some of the, the features you should uh, look up uh, uh, or, or look up for, right? These are the things you should what you should always be what make uh, be, be 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 looking up for, okay? Or you need to look look up to these things. So now let's let's um, let's now continue. So authors, people that write it, you know, each and every publication, there's someone that uh, that's what that is behind it. So someone will write it. So we call them what authors or the writers, okay? And then so the authors, you must what list list all list authors name, okay? List all authors with what their last name followed by a comma and then their initials. If there are more than 20 authors, use ellipsis. So now, this is what you do in the APL, uh, APA style of referencing. You must, what, the first thing you should do is what? The authors, if it is more than one author, okay? If it is like what you use, Lillian, uh, Lilyfield and what? Aquawards. Okay, these are the people, um, and this is what I'm using as what? A guide or a reference. So Lillian and uh, Aqu uh, Littlefield and what Aqu World. They are two people. Okay, so Michael Littlefield and then um, in our court, Aqu World. So I have to say that you see we have Michael Littlefield. So I'll use what I'll use Littlefield. Okay, comma, and then I bring what Littlefield comma, then followed by what the initial. So that is Michael, right? So that is what B M. And because it's what is initial, in my heart, you, you must use full stop at the end of each and every initial. It will say when you are using ETC, it is what initials for etc. So you bring what full stop. If you are using um, education and you, you write edu, you must bring full stop. Regardless whether it is a full sentence or you are, it is at the end or the middle, you must bring what a full stop. So this is how you should be. So if it, it, uh, after bringing the person's last name and bring in a comma, it should follow by what? The person's initial. If the person has seven names, you must what? The initials. Only use the initials. Don't use all the names, right? That is not the... Uh, if you use that one, it means you, do, you don't really know what you are doing. And also, um, if they are more than 20, right? If they are more than 20 authors, use ellipses. So the moment you realize they are more than 20 you must what use ellipsis. So after bringing some names, then you use what ellipsis. That ellipsis over there shows that they are more than what twenty. They are more than twenty authors that came together to write this. Assuming there's a group work, they're giving a group work to a group of thirty students to write something, and that article really gets a lot of traffic. People are actually interested and it is it has gone viral. People always would like to maybe cite it. They can't say it is only Kwame or Equestria. So what you have to what use ellipsis. It means that if I maybe even if you use one or two people and you bring the ellipsis, it means that some people are also behind it, right? And we know that they are more than 20. And the next one is that the publication year. After that, the next thing that follows is what the publication year. Remember that the MLA. You only use what use the page number, but here the the APA we use what the public uh, we use a publication year. This is very very important. So in so you what you enclose the publication year in parentheses. Okay, the parentheses is a bracket. So you put it after writing uh, Lillian M, Lillian comma M dot. Then you bring what you bring the year in a uh, a parentheses right a, a bracket. You put it in a bracket twenty. 23 okay lillian m lillian comma m dot then you bring what parenthesis then you bring the year 2020 now we are going we we are continuing with it after that the article title okay so so um so when you bring the parenthesis followed by what a period okay after that what followed by what a period let me show you some example okay so Lillian Lillian so so you see we brought the person's last name followed by what 
the person's initial. So the name is what? Lillian S O full stop. You see the S comes with full stop because it is initial. So you must what? Bring full stop. The S is also initial. So you must bring full stop. And then the other writer. The other writer is also, so you bring what? Comma. If you want to add another person, another writer, writer to, then you also what? Comma. And so the end, this is what? The sign you should use for what? End. And afterwards, afterwards, you what? You bring it afterwards with the person has what? Initial of each. So afterwards, comma, H. Right? It is not difficult. If you understand the process, or the, the, the method is not really difficult. So I call it H, which is what the person's initial full stop. Then you bring the year. So now we are out. We are in the year. So the year that is uh, um the year is what 2013. Let's now move forward to the so the publication year as now article title. Then close the article title in sentence case only for. The first word and then proper nouns capital, uh, capitalized. Okay, so followed by period. The title should be in a quotation mark. So here, you also what it should come. The title should be in a quotation mark. So the title of what the 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 article is what all about me, all about me. So if the title of the publication is about independence of Ghana, you write independence of Ghana, okay? Independence of Ghana. So the 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 the, the title, the title for the article is what all about what me, and that one should be what in a quotation mark. All about me should be in what a quotation mark. Now, after we are done with that, we are not done. The, the next step is what? General at title. General title. So this is how we go. So you italicize what? Italicize and uh, the general what? name. Use use what? The title keys. So okay, so these ones, you know, if you are writing, if you are, it, if it is an examination, these italic, uh, italicis and whatever, the bold and whatever is not really needed. But you need to what, bring it, it, if it. But if you are doing, if it is an article you are writing or a, a publication, you must what, pay attention to this thing. So here, the next thing was the journal, the, the general title should what, come, followed by what, uh, followed, followed, and followed it with what, a comma. So the general title. So let's look at the general title. The general title is, uh, so the general title, which is what? Scientific American Mind. Scientific American Mind. That is the general title. That is the title of what? The general. So Scientific American Mind. So you you, ought, you do that. So the moment you are done with the year, the year should be should, should, should follow by what? The, the general title. That is how the whole thing is. And then the next one is what volume, volume and issue. So for here too, you must what bring the volume and an issue in what in parentheses, okay? But if you are you are it's a, it's a, it's a book you are writing, you have you have to italicize it, italicize it, right? But since it is an examination, you must what the volume and then the issue you must bring it. So let's look at the vo the volume and an issue. It must be in what parentheses parenthesis so let's look at this example so the volume the volume is what uh 23 23 and then the issue is what six so it must be in what parenthesis it's must it must what be in parenthesis and then the last one is what the page range the page range which is what uh specify the the page range without using p or pp so at the end, so here you are not to use what P to represent the page, or you are not to use PP because you are using what the APA style. So only what bring the page name. So the page name, we bring comma the page. So the range between the page is what sixty four and then sixty five. So when the person open it and he gets to sixty four and then sixty five, the person will understand it. Now another example is this: we have what uh, Plato. R E the so the R E is the person's initial, 
uh, we have menon m okay so uh, um pulate pulati okay pulati 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 so the pulati is what the person's last name so the r e comma so after you are done you bring comma r e represents what the r dot what e so that one too becomes what the e is what the two are or the person's initial so when you are bringing the initial they must also after you write the, the first initial you must bring dot uh, and then if he has more than two initials you must bring all of them then we move to another one how you did for this one is it should be the same thing we have what after that we have a uh, menon menon comma m so the menon the other name apart from that uh, uh, it, other, other name is what um the, the initial is what m then you what you bring comma so always even if the person has initial and you are bringing you must put full stop and bring comma the comma means that you are adding another writer do you understand it then after that you move on so when you are done when you are done listening all the the author's name but make sure if they are above 20 you bring what ellipsis to indicate that they are they are other writers so after you are done with that then you continue with what the the year the year which is what the year is what 2012 and that one should always be in parentheses and then after the year you bring comma uh, uh, sorry after the year you bring full stop and then you bring and then you bring what the the gender okay the gender is what it is a uh, narcissism and adjustment in people okay in people that is root uh, rootless root rootless root that is what the jenna and then you must also bring the um the year sorry yeah sorry the page range yeah the page range and then that is it so we have we have a fair idea about this thing so with this fair idea that we have now let's now look at how we can now reference so these are the extract the information we've picked from main campus exams so we are now coming to pick information from these things and now reference them ourselves and see if we can do this one uh, together so that is that is it i gave you this format just to know how you go about it okay let's now look at extract one with the reference information the title is what narcissism this is how they are going to do so at the end of every uh let me let me let me send you there this is the example let's go let's go to uh, extract two okay no let's use extract one extract one this is what extract one so the extract one the information side the information are here okay after reading through everything then they will give you the reference information so the reference information you have for title the title is what narcissism and adjustment in people in people that is root uh, rootless root and authors and then we have what the writers we have what rachel e pulieto so if if you want to uh, okay let's let me read everything and then we have what madhavi menon we have minaski okay the names are too much for minaski menon we have desire d and we have tobin we have tobin uh, okay, these are D Tobin, and then we have what Davy English G, and we have what Perry. Uh, okay, okay, so these are what, and then the the genre is what development, and then the volume is what 83, number is what three, and then the year is what 2012, and then the page is what 80. 831 to 850 what? 857. Another one, when you go to extract 2, extract 3, they have been given similar thing. But here you see it is so simple. Reference information. The title is Narcissism, Narcissism and what? Addiction to Esteem. Narcissism and Addiction to Esteem. The authors are what? Roy, Roy E. Um, Boomister. So, and then we have what we have also Kathleen D. Vips. 
and then the journal the journal is what psychological inquiry we have volume what 12 and then the number is number four number four that is the year is 2000 and uh 2020, uh, 2001 and then the page is was two, 200 and 206 to 2000 2101 that is what the ring and then the last one the the fourth the fourth one too this is it um the title is what narcissism to face work and then we have for two views on what so that the title the title is what narcissism to face what work two views on the self social integration and then the authors are what we have ANSI ANSI uh, Perakli we have the Jenna so it, this one is only what one person that, what, that wrote it and then we have what the Jenna is what American psychology American what American Jenna of sociology and then the volume is 121 and then the number is 2 and then the year is 2005 the page range is what 400 and 400 and 40, 445 to 427 so these are the information we have from what our extract this is what main campus the one they just wrote this this year 2024 uh, uh, yes 2024 so these are the information we have here so now we are coming to reference it based on the information we have okay based on the information we have we are coming to reference it so you could see that i have what given all this information and and I, I, another guide i'm to give to you those of you will be writing the synthesis essay okay when developing the synthesis essay you only see when you are reading you see you don't really have title so if you want to know what is really talking about that check the reference information you will see the topic that they give okay the topic so you could see when you read extract one you could see that it's talking about uh narcissism and adjustment in in people that's rootless, rootless root and what rootless root right that is what he's talking about when you go to extract two the title for that jenna is also what it's also narcissism and political orientation so at the end of the day you have some fair idea about the paragraph you are reading so this will guide you to break it into pieces and know what you are writing about so oh one, one tip i'm giving to you about the synthesis essay and i ha i had a lot of people also asking me if they are to write it in the way i i did mine or they are to uh, go about you see the only thing is that uh, you must have a topic center it should be in the form of what essay you are writing an essay how you write essay? how do you write essay if you are developing a point how do you put the point okay you must learn how to you put the point and also you must you must also what use the right word the right um con uh, the, the right words what to link it okay that is what you should what you should do so i have given i'm done giving you the tip on synthesis essay let's now see how we can now summarize uh, sorry as uh, um reference this thing so in the APS style you see the first one we had so many writers which is what extract one extract one we have uh yes yeah, so this is it. so extract one this is how we do it so polity pretty uh, so um polity okay Poility, which is what the person's last name, comma, followed by a uh, followed by the person's initial. So how will that one be to be what R R E? So let's go and check if the R E really stand for that one. So we have what polity. So the R stand for okay. The R stand for Rachel, and then the E is already there. So do you understand it? So always when you are the way they have. Uh, They've been able to do it. The E, we see after the E, they brought what full stop. So if you are writing initial for anybody, make sure that you what you put a full stop. After writing the initial, full stop must come. Add a full stop. So that is how. That's why we we did it this way. So you bring what R E. The same way you did for writer uh, uh, author one, do the same for author two. So the second author, let's look at the person's initials. That is, we have Menon. So, with Menon, after Pulati, we have what? Menon. Okay. So, we have 
Madavi Menon. So it will be what? Madavi Menon. Please write it under the comment section for me if you understand. If if uh, uh, write that one for me. The 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 persons how you put it. Write that one. If it is if it is Menon B, write B, write that one. Just comment. It say just say just say that. Okay, the author's information in uh, extract one is what this this this. And those of you who want to also try your hands on this, just drop it under the comment section. Uh, reference, just write the, the reference list for uh, the, the, the extracts one. Okay, put it, drop it under the comment section. Okay, with this one, like we are doing so. Don't even do for option uh, one. We will leave the, the two there. I will leave the two there for you to drop, write it and drop it under the comment section. When you click on the, the button, you will see it there and then you drop it. But please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? I am pleading with you. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I beg you. Try and do that. But make sure you drop that one there. And also, um, so with that one, so this is how we did it. Okay? So after writing everything, after writing everything, like the way we did for plurality, we are doing the same for Menon. So you see, Menon, comma. After the person's initial... After, after the person's last name, you must bring comma. After the comma, it must follow. The next thing that will follow, if you have other author, you would also do the same for the, the, the person. You bring the person's last name and then the initial. Every initial must end with what? Uh, full stop, right? And then after you are done, the year of publication should come, which should be, it should be in what? Parenthesis. So the parenthesis, you put it in 2020. The year is what? 20... 2012 right and then um i told you that in ap ap style you are you have to make sure that it should be in what a quoted test a quoted test in a double quoted test so after that after the year you bring full stop okay 2012 in parenthesis then you bring what full stop and then the quoted the quoted test that the one that you are quoting from the the essay if assuming you quoted that in the Ghana gained independence in 1957. That is what you are quoting, and it was being written by an Anako Fado. You, after bringing Anako Fado's name, which is what, Ado, Ado what, uh, and what, Nana what Akufo Ado. So, so it will be Ado N A Ado, comma, Ado comma, N dot, A dot, right then you, you, you are you are done with that if there's another writer then you bring the person so after that you put the year he wrote it in 2024 so it should be in what uh, 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 i mean parenthesis and after that it should what you bring what full stop then the year whatever that he wrote okay he said that uh, ghana gained independence in 1957 so you bring what that test oh, okay from it you bring that one but if the test is too much, like I said, you must bring what? Parenthesis. If it is too much, bring what? Parenthesis. Uh, sorry, ellipsis. Bring what? Ellipsis. Bring that three dot there. That three dot. That's, that's what we call ellipsis. To show that some of the information continues. Because they give you a number of words to write. So if you think the, info, uh, the essay is going to be too long, you can cut some of these things short. And then after we are done, then we go. This is the... The... Um, um, how do you call it? After you are done with all these things, this is the guidelines. So the article title and then the general title. So we are now coming to look at what? the article title and then the general title. So the article title, which one will be our article title? When you when you look when you go through the article title, the article title. Okay, so the article title will be article title will be narcissism and adjustment in people in people. That is ruthless rude. So that is the uh, the article title. And then let's look at the general title. The general title is what development development. So that is what the general title. So when you are done with that, you bring what full stop. Okay, whatever that you you, you bring what the article title in what in 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 parenthesis then you bring what after that you 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 what 
you, 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 it must be in what? It must be in uh, quote, double quotation, and then you bring uh, after that what you bring the the general title, right? Which is what development, and then the 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 year, sorry, the the volume number. Wait, the volume number should what should come, okay? The volume number followed by what the the page range. This one you don't bring P like unlike the the way other people do their own so the second one please do the second one for me this is you can take screenshot of this one the second one this is the information i have here reference this one for me and then screenshot it screenshot it so you can get the information clear now after you are done now we are coming to solve the fourth one together and then i'll explain some important information for you before we end the class and then the next one is what the fourth one the fourth one yeah, I'm, okay you let me explain the third one for you you see that the third one you know with the the the, the third one the the writers we have what Bumista, Bumista, rf okay but mr comma R F so R full stop F full stop then comma another writer is there so I have to add it and verbs the, that is the person's what um, last name then the K D the K D stand for the person's what the person's um, 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 initials the K so K the K will, will, will come with what I said that if you are writing the person's initial each initial must what you must it must be followed by what a full stop so k full stop d full stop now after that the year will come which is what 2001 it should be in parentheses and then then after that you bring full stop then you go to what the the other aspect which is what the 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 the, the general what, title okay which is what narcissism and what addiction to esteem and asism and addiction to esteem and then when you are done with that you you continue okay yes no sorry that that is narcissism yes and then the general article is also what um psychological inquiry so you bring the page so you bring the the range the, the and then the page so this is what all about it so also make sure you do reference uh for the 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 feet one extract extract um four do for extract four so take screenshot of uh, sorry extract four yeah take screenshot for extract four and then send it to me do it and send it to me under not whatsapp or but I put paste it under the comment section for me. I'll I'll reply you. So this is what how it is. So in referencing, if you understand these basic things, referencing wouldn't be what difficult for you. You reference with what with ease, and this is how the whole thing is going to be. So um, the information I gave to you. So the article title. Pay attention. These are the features. So the article. The art. The author the publication year the article title the general uh, title followed by what the volume and then the range these things are what very very important and you must what not pay attention to this uh and you, when you get to the other aspect which is what mla the mla2 has what a difference uh it it has what its own way of what referencing so the MLA stands for Modern Language Association, Modern Language Association, and we in in the Modern Language Association, it includes what the author's name, the article title in quotation mark, the journal name, which is should which should be italicized, the volume number, and the issue number if it is available, the publication year, and then the page range. The the author's name is listed with the last name first, followed by the first name. And then the title, the title of the journal is italicized, and then the title of the article is enclosed in 
quotation mark so this is what how you go about it so so when you take the the authors list all the art list all the artists the authors okay their name followed by what a comma and then the first name okay so you list the person the person's name and then he has to what follow by what the, the first name and then if if there are more than three authors use a tar so here if you are using the MLA star like unlike the APA star that if they are um, they are 18 you have to write all their name here if they are more than three you have to use a towel the a towel means it's some follows but with the ap if you, you have to get to you have to get to 19 there are more than 19 writers then you bring what ellipsis so uh, sorry yeah with the ellipsis that you are bringing and then the a towel is almost what they seem so if you write the towel it means that there are some that you need to what, add okay and others it's, it's like you writing and others so and then the title the title so when you talk about the title enclose the title of the article in quotation mark using title keys followed by what a period so this is it so now we are using the same plurative to what to do this the mla style so now plurality so it in the the the, in the difference between you see, in writing the names, is the same format that APA and MLA use. The, 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 in writing the author's name, they all follow the same step. Okay, how they all write it. So, Pulwati R E. But you see, Pulwati is a person's last name. Pulwati R E. You see. So, let me let me go to the. Let me let me get to the extract so we can explain this one well. So we have what Pulwati here, Pulwati, E R. Okay, Pulati what? Pulati R E rather. So, so the name is what? Rahel E Pulati. Rahel E Pulati. So, in to write this one, you must write the person's last name, last name which is what Pulati, and then followed by the first name which is what R and then E. That's how come we had what Pulati R what E Pulati R E. So that is it. And then after we are done, then we have to what the title we enclose the the title of the article in a quotation mark. So the I the title of the article should also what, should be in what a quotation mark. So here. Okay, so this one. Okay, this one is this one doesn't. So after you are done, I think I made a mistake here. The year is not part, okay? I made a mistake. This one should include. So after you are done, the next thing you should, you should that's the next thing, the, the year, which is 21, 2020, 12, shouldn't come, okay? After you are done, then you bring what? The, the title of what? The, the title of the, uh, uh, um, the article in what? In quotation mark. And then the general title too. So after that, then you also what? The general title. So you bring the, the general title and then you bring what comma. So the general title becomes what? The general title becomes after that you, you bring what? The general title and then the volume and issue. Okay? You bring you bring the volume. So the volume is what? Twenty uh, volume what? Eighty three. And then the issue number is what three. Okay? And then after that the the page range. So here you bring the page range and then you are good to go so this is what the the the, the tips or some guys about the APA and then mla style of what referencing so i've taken you to the through the apa mla and then how to quote in AP, mla mla uh, style or how to uh, also quote using the apa style and then we've gone through the past question and how we can not reference this so these are some of the things if if you really understand this if you really understand the the referencing okay make sure i'm giving you this one make sure you reference this one for me reference the feed the fact that this one for me the information on the screen reference this for me reference it for me this is it reference it 
and drop it under the comment section but please if you have not subscribed make sure you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and i want to take this opportunity to also let you know of um to do just one minute advertisement um i have a digital marketing company whereby we sell um, um actually we promote businesses brands and so on and so forth if you have a business that you want to really uh register your online presence or actually get in touch with customers and get more people to transact business with you or get more people on board get in touch with me we we use technological we use the the the, the it system and then then strategies to to prove to uh, advertise businesses we do social media marketing we run online ads we do search engine of optimization we do branding some of some of the the, the product that you are actually uh, uh that people are not buying some of them are as a result of what branding we do proper branding we 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 we, we, we do flyers uh, websites designs and so on and so forth get in touch with as um the the, the company is what touch digital you can we are on google map and all the social media platforms you can you can call me on zero five four five forty one twenty seventeen or message us send us email through our website which is what top strat digital um top strat digital at gmail.com top strat digital at gmail.com and we'll get in touch with you so please my next videos are going to be on composite summary and then um errors god bless you for joining thank you